LSU gets a win over Arkansas, 13-10. to And let me go ahead and pull up the stats for you so you can see exactly what we're talking about here. LSU only ran 65 plays. Arkansas ran 68. Both teams had two turnovers. LSU won a ball game where they had less than 300 total yards of offense. Had 278 to be exact. You look at Arkansas, seven tackles for loss, seven sacks. Same for LSU, five uh, tackles for loss, five sacks. The passing down success rate for LSU was 10%. When they got behind the sticks, they did nothing with it. Their standard down success was less than 50%, but it was still higher than what Arkansas was able to do uh, without K.J. Jefferson. Uh, Harold Perkins is the dude. Let me talk about Harold Perkins right quick. Apparently, Brian Kelly said that this was his flu game. He had flu symptoms. He threw up before the game, all that kind of stuff, right? Which, how how odd and different. This is not to make it political, but uh, just a couple of years ago, if anybody had had any kind of symptoms like that, they would have been held out of the game. They would have had to test everybody in the facility before they allowed the game to start, like all that kind of stuff, right? Now, he's got the flu, but he plays anyway. It, it kind of kind of strange how we treat different things in this country. Harold Perkins, Jr. Two forced fumbles, four sacks, eight tackles. He was in the backfield all day for LSU. He is the difference in this LSU team. Matt House has figured out exactly what to do with this kid, and that is let him go. Just sick him. Go after the quarterback. Like, And that's what he does. He is in the backfield relentlessly. And that little thing that he did on the sideline where he, he did the strip sack of Malik Hornsby, where he chases Hornsby down. And Hornsby is one of the fastest players in this country. And he chased him down from behind and ripped the ball out. And LSU recovered, gave him a short field. Ended up with points. That was a play. That kid is the difference in why LSU is good now and they weren't earlier in the year when he wasn't playing. Bottom line. So let's get back to the stats here. Arkansas, 243 yards, and that was with Cade Fortner and Malik Hornsby both at quarterback. They just could not get very much going. Yards per rush, Arkansas only 3.574. Uh, that's because LSU was able to stack the box. They they just they knew that Arkansas was not going to be able to do much throwing the football. Rushing attempts in this game, uh, 51 <laughs> for LSU and 46 for Arkansas. So LSU threw the ball 65, or sorry, sorry they ran 65 plays. They... Uh, they threw the ball 15 times. So those numbers don't add up. I, I got to figure out what my what my code is pulling. But regardless, 51 rushing attempts out of 65 plays. I mean, what are we talking about? Like <laughs> just unbelievable. Um in Arkansas, like only threw the ball 22 times. This was a cold game. It was an early game. All that kind of mess, right? Uh, Scotty jumps in. I haven't seen a defensive player like this since Lawrence Taylor was causing pain and suffering. Yeah, every this I'm telling you, at, from a linebacker perspective, because he's not a defensive end, right? He's built differently than Will Anderson. But those two guys are just brutal. Like, they, they are terrifying to see. Harold Perkins legitimately may have won LSU the West this year. He is the reason why they were able to get such good stops against Ole Miss he is the reason why they were able to slow down Alabama's offense. He is the reason why they shut down Arkansas. This was the perfect letdown spot. And this is what Brian Kelly teams are known for. You go and beat the teams that you're supposed to beat, and you don't have to beat them by a sizable margin. You just win and advance. That's what you do. Like, it's very easy. Uh, looking at some of the numbers here as far as the stats go, uh, Jaden Daniels, 8 of 15 for uh, 86 yards. He did have the one interception. Uh, Williams, the former walk-on, 19 carries, 122 yards, and one touchdown. He is an absolute beast. I love watching this kid play running back. He is so good. So, so good. Um, Keishon Butte, 49 yards receiving. He had four receptions. Malik Neighbors, two for 24. Like, they are getting the wide receivers involved again, and that is certainly a good thing. Uh, props to the LSU defense for not letting Rocket Sanders get going. Only 12 attempts. 46 yards, and I understand that LSU is basically living in the backfield, um, but you gotta you gotta find something more to do with with Rocket Sanders there. Uh, he did have um, two passes for zero yards. Um, one was negative two, one was two. You know, so they they could not find a way to get Rocket Sanders going, and without that, uh, 
Fortin like did have the one long touchdown pass, but outside of that, they just they got nothing going. So props to LSU for being able to get that thing done because that was a prime upset spot, prime upset spot for them, and they uh, and they didn't let it happen. Didn't let it happen. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.